where I have to find the eigenvalues of the given two by two matrix. An eigenvalue of matrix A is a scalar lambda such that the determinant of the difference of matrix A and the product of lambda in the identity matrix equals zero. So in our case, we need to solve the equation, the determinant of the given two by two matrix minus lambda times the two by two identity matrix equals zero. Next, we'll perform scalar multiplication with lambda, which gives us a determinant of the given matrix minus the two by two matrix lambda zero, zero lambda. And now we'll find the difference of the two matrices, which gives us a determinant of the two by two matrix where the first entry is negative six minus lambda. The second entry in row one is just negative two minus zero or negative two. In row two, we have negative two minus zero and two minus lambda. And now we find the determinant, which is equal to the product of negative six minus lambda and two minus lambda minus the product of negative two and negative two, which gives us the quantity negative six minus lambda times the quantity two minus lambda minus the product of negative two and negative two equals zero. And now we multiply out the left side, multiplying the two binomials, negative six times two is negative 12. And then we have plus six lambda minus two lambda, which gives us plus four lambda, and then plus lambda squared, and then we have minus four equals zero. Simplifying the left side, we have lambda squared plus four lambda, and then negative 12 minus four is equal to negative 16, giving us minus 16 equals zero. In this case, lambda squared plus four lambda minus 16 is not factorable, and therefore we'll have to use the quadratic formula. For the quadratic formula, a is equal to one, the coefficient of lambda squared, b is equal to four, the coefficient of lambda, and c is the constant, which is equal to negative 16. I have the quadratic formula down here below for reference, but of course instead of x, we'll have lambda. We have lambda equals negative b is negative four, plus or minus the square root of the quantity b squared, which is four squared, minus four times a times c, where a is one and c is negative 16. And this is all over two times a, or two times one. And now we simplify. We have lambda equals negative four, plus or minus the square root of, here we have 16 plus 64, which is equal to 80, all divided by two. And now we need to simplify the square root of 80. For a quick review, the square root of 80 is equal to the square root of eight times 10, where eight is equal to three factors of two, and 10 is equal to one factor of two and one factor of five. And now I'll circle the perfect square factors. Two times two is a perfect square. Here as well as here, the square root of 80 simplifies to four square root five. So now we know lambda is equal to negative four plus or minus four square root five, all divided by two. We need to be careful here, we cannot simplify the common factor of two between the negative four here and the positive two, because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. So an easy way to simplify correctly is to break this up into two separate fractions, which gives us lambda equals negative four divided by two plus or minus four square root five divided by two. Simplifying, we have negative two plus or minus two square root five. So because of the plus or minus here, we have two eigenvalues for the given two by two matrix. Let's go ahead and let lambda sub one equal negative two plus two square root five. And lambda sub two equal negative two minus two square root five. I hope you found this helpful.